Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and we have ourselves a show and tell and I won't lie to you, this one is bonkers. Normally I uh, fluff up that gold box a little bit for the thumbnail to make it look so appealing. Um, this time I haven't even bothered trying to get them back into the box and uh, I fluff them up with like a, a five pack I'm yet to show you at the bottom and just to raise it all up and give it volume as the hairdressers would say. I had some help finding this one. Um, David Johns from Toy Diecast helped me out. What a guy, what a fella. He sent me some stickers too. Isn't that cool? It's all hella, hella prolific. Don't know how you say it. It's a hologram, whatever. Um, yeah, US only issued, always was. Cannot get them in Australia. And for me to get hold of this sucker, um, you know, you're talking maybe $30 Australian, but 60 to get it here. Why would you do that? Unless you are nuts. I am a little bit nuts over this one. It is the greased lightning. Where are oh, greased lightning? Not greased lightning, not like the movie. But it's actually the Pantera, isn't it? There's the back. Um, 1983, so not new, not new stock. Um, usually you see this in white, then the standard American version was blue. And here we have red. Isn't it wonderful? One of the many I ogled as a kid in the catalogue, knowing full well I would never get it. How wrong I was. Thank you, David. You're a legend. Magic. Suspension. The old star wheels. It's metal on metal. It's everything a kid could want. It's fantastic. Could not wait to rip that open and I'll have a very good time Maybe over a beer, adding that into the lineup in the collection behind me. Here is another one that David helped me out on. Um, I've got a banged up version of this one. I don't know if it was issued in all markets, or just don't know. I got the banged up one and um, it sat in the collection, well, still sits in the collection until this afternoon. Uh, moving parts, look at that. I've got another updated moving parts want to show you later in the show um, but just until now I didn't realize they'd used that as a promo this of course is the wreck truck modeled off a Chevy van it's the car wash oh I'm showing you a car wash video soon prepare yourself seek counseling but be prepared it's not a long video it took me about ooh, a month to shoot, so count yourself lucky that I put the time in. <laughs> it only took a month to shoot because uh, halfway through I realised didn't have all the cars displayed on the box, so I had to eBay them, and uh, they finally came in. Um, postage here is probably the same as postage in your neck of the woods. The whole world's gone nuts, isn't it? Sometimes things turn up in three days flat from goodness knows where and sometimes Well, they don't turn up at all um, Speaking of spruiking and I'm going to be doing a lot of that through this video. It's going to be a long one. I hope you've got a coffee I hope you got something um, Spruik time Tyrone the 1955 GMC scenic cruiser uh, is part of a review of the 65th anniversary I'm doing in Mainline. This is exactly the same as the 65th Mainline 1955 GMC Scenic Cruiser. Um, this was from 2018, so 2019. But same thing, different bucket, you know what I mean. Matchbox on the side. This has been around the house, well, since 19, uh, 2019, but uh, here we find ourselves in 2023, opening it. Not the oldest thing I'm ripping open today, let me assure you. 
Tesla, another one I found around the place. Well, my wife found this one. I was looking for it on eBay and oh, the price is it's phenomenal because this is also part of the 65th anniversary. Not on this card, on the shorter card, but I'm going to show them all loose. So who cares? Um, yeah, dumb money. They're asking for this thing on eBay. I suppose it's all right. I suppose people just can't get hold of them. Drives the price up silly. Um, but I was a little embarrassed when my wife appeared with it and says, you know you've had this for years. Have I? Thank you. Thank you. I'll give it here. Globe Travelers from Matchbox. Speaking of 65th anniversary. Gee, we're spruiking today. Audi R8. What a lovely green. I got this for a birthday some time ago. 2017 copyright. And I think it was one of those things I was trying to collect the set to show you as a set, but you know how it is. Don't spend most of your life finding or trying to find things and never finding them. So, oh, wow. Oh, so good to, the, to get this out of the packet. Sort of a tin foil green. Reminds me of uh, foil somehow. That's a really nice look. Of course, we get these in main lines. 2006 copyright. Oh, that's a beauty. And of course, the rubber tires. Put that over the back. Um, a big kahuna. Do you use that same? I think it's Hawaiian, isn't it? Here's the big kahuna. Uh, Duckham's Engine Oils sponsored Team Convoy. Or Matchbox Racing, whatever you like to call it. I'll jam a sharp implement in there. I thought I had my butter knife. I do have some. Where? Yes, I do. Look at that. Because uh, as much as I don't collect packaging, um, I don't want to wreck stuff that can be closed either. That famous old dark blue box from the late 80s. It's the super van, isn't it? That should come, little fella. Should we search for the year? I think it's covered up. Souvenir World. Hmm. Big 17 buckaroonies. Uh, yeah, let's just go for sort of late 80s, early 90s. I'm not sure we're going to get told unless... Uh, yeah, no, you don't want to do that, do you? Let's go for late 80s and maybe it's early 90s. But here it is. Magic Pirelli QXR on the side and Duckham's. But oh wow, the Ford Sierra. Ooh, wow. Whenever you get something um, is, I don't know, rarefied. Is this is it's just a zinger moment isn't it get a big smile on your dial that's great and then instantly you go I wonder what others there are out there eight dot wheels the whole thing went a bit nuts towards the right on the duckums bit of right leaning stickerage forward supervan 2 yeah, it's nice. I believe I have this one knocked about, but this is mint, minty mint. And uh, I store these in one drawer, and I store the support vehicles in another, um, in their separate little categories. Either way, any way you do it, it's going to be confusing if you're looking for one and not the other. Or, indeed, if you're looking for the set and you only find the racer, you're going to have to figure out what its support vehicle was. Moving right along. Um, I'm very excited about this box. Forgive me if I'm a bit chatty. Cheap 4x4. Four, four four. This is, I think, like number 14 that I have now. Isn't that nuts? Uh, 97 copyright. Maybe it's more than 14. It's, I must be closing in. And of course, this is the casting with the step for the aerial, the antenna. 
no need to add an antenna sparky if you're watching this it's already got one but probably could do with a dash of paint on that steering wheel anyway uh, blast from the past 1976 on the card uh, this is old really old not as old as me but got it 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 show off sent for latest edition that's when they used to do catalogs son of a yeah where's edition that one this brooking mail coupon for catalog it's funny how americans or north americans spell catalog you know that's wrong right Got some Super Kings, Sea Kings, airplane kits. See over this side, we'd call it aeroplane, not airplane. We're just two different people. 25 cents. Please send me a copy of the Matchbox Full Color Pocket Catalog. I am enclosing 25 cents to help cover. <laughs> how sweet. Oh, how times have changed. <laughs> Let's get it. Stop yapping. Ah, oh, yeah. And this one will go towards a catalog video, I promise. At some point, lovely, heavy thing. Lovely. And of course, that extendable hook to put as many as you like behind it. Magic. Really good. Oh, I better pick up the pace. I'm in La La Land. Oh, dear. 2008 Ford E350 ambulance in orange. I've got two of these to show you. Um, 2009 on the card. Yeah, such a classic ambulance, isn't it? Now they're all vans, aren't they? They're not these box truck type things. Even Australia had the box type truck thing. They were the probably the F-150s imported. Um, but now they're just Mercedes vans around here. So um, I've had a few rides in an ambulance and they're quite boring. Oh, jeez. Did I show you this? Barrett Jackson. That's the auction house, I think. Or maybe it's not. This used to be number one of six. It's 1962 Volkswagen Beetle. And there's the back if you are interested. Now let's wreck it. Yeah, just uh, on a bit of a high for this one. And I'll be honest, it's been a bit of an abysmal couple of weeks around here with circumstances. Um, and it's. I'll just make a racket. Should have bought the chainsaw. Yeah, so. It's uh, hard to get back into the video making because I wasn't in the frame of mind for what's happened. Crikey Moses. But uh, the 50-50 split on how to look at things like that is um, do you just jump in and play with these toys because after a big life event which has happened around here won't go into it but uh, I spoke to David of Toy Starcast about it I think he's the only one on the planet other than my family that knows but a uh, bit of a shock to the family and uh, you think oh, what are you doing with these toys they're just meaningless but actually the other way to look at it and the more positive way to look at it is if you use this hobby as your sanctuary and I do um, it's the perfect thing to do after something blindsides you. Um, so yeah, it, I often joke about this as being cheap therapy um, or cheaper than therapy. Actually, it's it's solid gold therapy. It's, uh, it's my go-to place. So as we gaze upon this 1962 V-Dub Beetle in black and white, Okay, something a little more cheerful. 1972 Volkswagen Beetle Dragster. Another one David helped me out. He's my hero at the moment, seriously. 42 of 50, um, 2022 on the base. So it is current, but uh, these aren't appearing in Perth shops. So helped out yet again. Let's take a look.
and this has been all over the shop recently hasn't it did we have the metals crash and i think we did in um, a lovely green to uh, give a nod to the dragsters of old but here we have a dusty rose dusty pink and just to be brutal about it it's like getting a spider out of your cornflakes <laughs> Shove a knife in there. It's not going to bite the knife. Look at that. Hot V dubber. Awesome. That is sweet. Custom 72 V dub beetle drag style on the base. I'll leave that up, I think. That's great. So many things. Um, Best of Matchbox. Dodge Magnum Police. I've shown this just in its box um, in a previous video. 2016 copyright and I did promise I'd rip it up for a future video. It's now the future and you're in it. Lucky you. It's going to be tricky. Do I reach for the butter knife again or risk it? Man, how many package changes have they had over at Mattel? Never get used to them. Nice box, same size as the Audi one. Yeah. Separate piece for the light bar. Bit of a gaudy red, but um, I don't work for Mattel. Goes with, oh, they, no. I was gonna say they inserts, but no, that's just a painted on light. Hmm. And uh, mud ties. They are plastic there, are they? No, they're rubber. Hmm. Sweet. Really nice. Let's get an underground car park sound. Another best of Matchbox. I think I must have alluded to that on the same day I showed that one. 89 Chevy Blazer 4x4 in brown. Let's get this off. It's got a separate light piece. And after dealing with the last packet, I'm expert at this one, obviously. No grace is there. No grace at all. Here's the box. I've all seen the box before. Oh, gee, that's a lot of rubber tyre there. Wow, that's cool. Matchbox Police Department. This is the chief. Unit 11. Oh, that looks so much better out of the packet. Most of them do, but um, some of them are surprisingly nice. Ha, huh, this has got the mount for the antenna, but unless I've launched it over my shoulder and it is now on the rug, there was no antenna. It's just something to get brittle and snap, in my opinion. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? Lots of rubber there. This one it was interesting to me. Uh, again, it's for the 65th anniversary. I'll show it loose so the card does not matter. It's the NASA SEV Chariot. Um, it was interesting because I kind of brushed over it when I got it. It went into storage in the cupboard under the stairs. And uh, then that came out in the Collectors series in 2022, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong on any of that. I'm normally wrong on something. But here it is with plastic tyres, um, and I'm sure they wazzed up the other one. They gave it some more tood than this one has. I'd have to put them side by side. 2018 on the base. But, um, yeah, who knew? Quite often things attain relevance long after the day you've bought them. Another one that David at Twice Diecast helped me out on. Um, the GMC record, this is 1998 on the card. Rons. There's a lot with Rons on it, but a lot of them were different colours. And um, it's great to get a variant on the Rons livery. There's about five, I think. Don't know who Ron is or was. Apparently he's a person, because they all are in Mattel land, in livery land. And yet another one David helped me out on. Jeez, uh, 
getting a good mention today. <laughs> it's number 50, Harley Davidson with rider. Sometimes you'll find them without the rider. He hasn't gotten off and wandered off. Um, they did issue the variant. 1983, there's something rattling around. I, I think it's going to be the stand. Actually, no, I don't think it is. There's some brown plastic in there. And we'll see if it was just part of the manufacturing process and some's just fallen in or something's come off. 1983, he's doing better than I am. So yeah, something rattling around. Let's take a look. I think we're lucky. I think we're all right. His hands are intact, or is... No, that's fine. It's all tickety-boo. Yeah, it was just some swarf. They call that in metal land. I'm not sure if they call it swarf in plastic land. Bit of debris. But she is fine. Can you see? Bing. It's a bit of a elevator sound effect there for you. Yeah, that's great. And uh, I never had this one as a kid. There's no nostalgia to it, but it is for, I think, the same catalogue I'm revving up for. Of those two. So. Harley Davidson with Ryder can sit over the back and watch me as I destroy some more boxes. But not this one. This is the Datsun, isn't it? With another super van. Um, these two Team Convoy sets came in the same package. Um, uh, I think there were six of them. I bought them privately. Cost an absolute fortune. Do we get the? No, it's the same sticker on that one. So I'm just guessing at the year. But we know roughly, don't we? Let's see what condition they are in. Oh, that's interesting. Is that the same one of them? I uh, thought that was chrome. Maybe I'm wrong. Don't know. I'll sort it all out the Savo. Plastic chrome base, but gee, there's a lot of metal on these. And amazingly, there's no marking from where that lucky band was. You're almost always lucky on the car, but um, you'll find a, a paint defect inflicted by a, an elastic band, usually. Not a lot to see under there. Fuji cameras and films, I don't know if they're about. Certainly not the film department. Or well, maybe they are for movies, who knows. It's all digital now. Really, I'm talking to you from the future, aren't I? <laughs> we'll pop him over there. Um, I wish I could spend more time on everything, but there's still a ton of stuff. Oh, they, they're going to look great. Look at that. Look at it. Magic. Yeah, so they'll be stable mates. Over there. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, a random, random piece. Uh, I started collecting the old ones of these, the same wheels, not 60s old, but 70s old. Uh, and I realized just how many variants there are. They're calling it the beef hauler, and it's been called the cattle truck, the steak truck, all sorts of things. But this is the beef hauler, um, 1999 on this one. So. Yeah, just one of those random things that uh, interest me. And it's a beautiful blue. Now, ooh, what's all that? Uh, just a bit of debris from the box. Phew. Now, I have this one. I have it with the same cow color, or bull color. I have the same plastic color. I have the same truck colour, I have the same bull's head on each door, but the other one has Matchbox 2000 slammed across the windshield. Um, so therefore, I don't have it. Well, I didn't until right now. See how nuts this hobby gets. Um, the Land Rover 90, number 16 of whatever year. Uh, 93 on the card. So I thought I had it 
I don't, I do now. Oops, smashed up anyway. Um, very summery kind of suits because it's going to 38 degrees here today. Hopefully you don't hear the refrigerated fully ducted air conditioning working overtime already. It's only about nine o'clock in the morning here and it's on full blast to keep up. Um, it might be snowing where you are. I've heard there's snow about. If it's hot here there's snow in your neck of the woods. Um, 2008 Ford E350 ambulance in red this time to match the orange. 2009 on the card. Yeah. Sweet. Beautiful. Put those over there. Really am ripping through them. Um, uh, variant on the back. I have it, but not with a better chain <laughs> and a sleeping bag. So you gotta have it, don't you? You do. 2016 on the card. I feel like I'm being booby trapped with the packaging. It's abnormally difficult to open today. So that's the variant I'm after. It's like Noah's Ark in the collection. These go in twos, one with and one without. And I think there's another difference. There might be three of each. Even. Volkswagen Transport a Crew Cab, 2015 on the base. Another one. Um, I was quite shocked. I didn't already have this. But um, yeah, I don't know. Tw um, 1970 Datsun 510 Rally in green. And um, it's hard to tell you it's 1985 on the base, on the card, but that's the Porsche model 2020. So I shouldn't be too shocked that I don't have this, because it's not that long ago. Yeah. And there's another one coming out for 2023. I don't like saying things like that because it instantly dates the video. If you're watching this in 2024, it's like, what? Ah, oh, duh. But there we have the green one of the 70 Datsun 510. Oh, this beauty. Ford F100 panel van in orange. Farmer's market on the side. Uh, it's from the farm, predictably. Sub-series and 2007 on the card. You might think... I'm running out of room in the drawers behind me, and you'd be right. Um, there's building to take place over the winter months. You cannot be in my workshop in the summer. It's, um, if it's 45 outside, it's 65 in the workshop. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. About a thousand. It's hot. You go in there with the, the intent to do something, even if it's for 10 minutes with a big jug of water. And you're in there for 30 seconds and you think, I'm being dumb. Oh, fry. 1962 Nissan Jr. in a lovely sort of undercoat grey. Blue on the card. Grey on the car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lost it. 2016 on the card. Yeah. Didn't realise it'd been around for as long as it has. 2016 on the base as well, so would have been the first one. <laughs> Sweet. Moving right along. Oh, I got this for Christmas. Um, you know, when you're a kid, you circle <laughs> all your um, your wants from the Matchbox catalogue or any given catalogue. For me, it was Matchbox. Um, and you just leave it lying around the house leading up to your birthday or your Christmas because that they were the only two times of the year you actually got anything and um, I felt like those days I didn't leave it lying around the house I just pointed at it in the catalogue and I said to Sarah that Christmas please Vauxhall Astra GTE or Opal Cadet GSI huh that's weird different spec levels for different countries who knew Vauxhall, Holden, Opal, it's all General Motors. Um, here, he's itching to get his fingers to wreck it, isn't he? Um, 1981 on, on 
and simply destroy the pots. Yeah. I got one recently with Politsai on it. That was a revelation. Metal on metal, made in Macau. What a lump. Run it through the warrant of fitness. Check the headlights, the horn, seat belts. Come back in 28 days with it fixed, mate. Your driver's door. It's, it is the driver's door. Won't open. Been in a bingle, mate. Looks like you might have. Oh. Sweet. An oddly uh, white eight dot wheels. Oh, I can see the bottom. Uh, this is random. I bought this for myself and then I got it boxed for Christmas. Um, and I thought, wow, how weird is it to get a double? But lo and behold, this one has grey wheels and the one I got for Christmas I think had black. Spoilt, spoilt rotten. Leyland Royal Tiger Coach. Or couch if you're dyslexic. <laughs> bom bom. A uh, couple of the oh, oh you got to see these um, across America, Massachusetts. Random, isn't it? 1962 Volkswagen Beetle, and this is a um, a gift from my good buddy David Johns. It's been around for a while, and I thought it's time. It is time. What year? 2001. I think this is in one of the very first um, boxes he sent me. So going back a number of years. So I'll plunk him there. I've got an Alabama one around the place. It's not a Beetle, it's a fantasy truck. But I'm keeping that on the card because I'm not collecting the truck. But the, um, the packaging is, is worth so much more to me. So being from the great state of Alabama. Ooh, how are we going on? Ooh, 32 minutes. Don't you have to be somewhere? We'll put this up a fraction, shall we? Well, actually, we'll, we'll bring you back because the crowd's getting out of hand. Bring in security. All right, we're better. We're back. And there we have Massachusetts on the side. Patriot Tea Company. Sweet. Is that... Um, a nod to the tea party? I don't know. Look at this old thing. Uh, this is one of the ones that took an absolute age to come. In fact, I'd forgotten I'd bought it. And when it's the price I paid for it, you shouldn't forget you bought it. <laughs> uh, Slingshot Dragster, number 64 of sometime in the 70s. Let's guess it's 71. We'll cover a catalogue with it in sooner or later. Look at that. I've got a uh, one of these in pink, and I think pink was the more common color. Um, hence the price of the blue. But uh, when you gotta have it. I bought it before I headed to work one morning. Uh, clearly wasn't feeling the love for work. Wanted a bit of a pick me up and uh, dropped ton of cash. Right, last one. Get rid of the box, sadly. Get out the chainsaw. It's the 1962 Volkswagen Beetle. Again, I think this came from David. I should call this um, David's show and tell. Uh, my classic car with Dennis Gage. Don't know about him, but certainly know about the car. What year? If we can find it, you might have to freeze frame and spend the next half hour reading through that I can't see it ah there we are 2003 it's only a couple of decades I know I know if you're one to collect packaging that's probably hard for you to watch <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> So go at it again with the scissors. Like nothing matters. <laughs> what do you got to lose? All right. Oh, I told you it was going to be worth it. It'd be 
such a blooper. In fact, I'd, I'd edit it out. You'd never see it if um, my destructive ways broke something off one of these things one of these days. You'd never see it. You'd never see it. Oh, where's the other one? Come here. Look at that. Sweet. Classic hubs. Well, they're not hubs, but you know the shape. Wheels are uh, a bit dragster looking, but what a beauty. Gee, they've done a number on that. Huh. We've got to get an aerial shot. We've got to clear some of the debris away. My word, I've held you up for a bit today. I hope it was worth it. Hope you've enjoyed the show. And uh, as we pan around on an angle, then let's step left. There you go. That's better, slightly. All in shot. Thank you, David. Check him out on YouTube. Cool sticker, hey? I feel like I need a bomber jacket and an iron, but I'm not sure it's one of those. It just looks cool. Yeah, you need a lot of help from your friends in this business, and uh, I'm fortunate enough to have it. Thank you. Um, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.